everyone, today I went to our huge electronics market, Huachang Bay, and brought back a haul of our tiniest cell phones. These are phones with very limited functionality, but they're very easy to hide and cheap, about $15 or less. Um, some of them are common Princeton contrabands. You'll see why. Okay, first one. It's a credit card phone. It's thin enough to put in your wallet. Let's turn it on. Let's go to the menu and see if there's anything interesting. They have a FM radio. Yeah, let's check the FM radio. None of these phones have a lot of features, but the big feature are price and size. This phone has a size of a credit card, and I can compare it to a pen, pencil, and it's even thinner than the pencil. Let's unbox the next one. This one might look a little bit familiar. It looks like an old version of the Nokia cell phone, and, uh, but it's much, much smaller. And I think the biggest feature of this one is uh, it has two SIM card slots, if I'm right. So let's open it and take a look. So in here, you can see there are two SIM card slots. Now let's power it on. Okay, this one has nothing special, but it has some basic functions just like the first one. Now, let's move on to the other one. This one is not as small as the other ones. I don't know if it would make a good contraband phone, but uh, the this, the case is, the enclosure is different from the other one. It feels much uh, nicer. Let's turn it on. No battery. Strange. Oh. So it takes a while to pull up. Same has radio and SOS setting. Status on. SOS contact so I can put an emergency contacts inside and probably uh, dial a number and then they will go directly to that person. Cool.
Okay, I'm told that they sell a lot of this kind of mini cell phones as a uh, Princeton phones. I um, look look at the size of my compared to my face. I guess if you don't have a choice, you will probably smuggle it into a Princeton like in any ways. You you know what I'm saying. But I, I, I wouldn't want to try. Uh, let's see what kind of functionality it has. So the biggest feature of this uh, phone, you can see at the back, there is you, you can put an earplug in and uh, use it as a headset. Like this. Now this one is not super tiny, but it is super cute and it's under twenty dollars. I was like, why not? Let me show it to you. Looks like there are more functionality. But there's no English on this one. Oh, really? Unfortunately, it doesn't have English. Uh, uh, I can translate it to you. Let me see if there's anything interesting. So, oh, at the back, there is a tiny camera so you can record and you can take a picture. Let's go back. And there is a song a player, a media player with, oh, there is some music in it. Is there? So you can use it as an mp4 mp3 also and there is the video player you can watch videos on here and there's a recorder you can record okay let's hit record hello can you hear me okay that's it save success save Oh, not bad. Okay, these phones, they just have very basic functions, but they're very interesting and I think it's a good gift for kids and it's only under $20. I don't know if it works outside of China though. But if you want to see another haul like this or you want to see more interesting stuff from Shenzhen or markets from Shenzhen, let me know in the comment section. Please subscribe and I'll see you all next time.